Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news. I'm Chris, and today we have an interesting topic of discussion that follows the results of the finale for Falcon and the Winter Soldier Episode 4, which was released earlier this week. So if you don't want to hear anything about that episode, haven't had a chance to watch it yet, and don't want any spoilers, you should click away now. But not before you check away our giveaway, Cosmic Warren and myself are doing a Captain America Falcon and the Winter Soldier Shield giveaway. All you have to do to enter is subscribe on his channel, The Cosmic Wonder, and on this channel, Cosmic Culture, and we'll be picking a random comment from a video at the end of the month, and that will be the lucky winner. Good luck to you. Right then, let's talk about what happened at the very end of this last episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which resulted in new Captain America bashing the head off of somebody in the middle of the street in front of a lot of people. Now, that is a wow factor, a shocking moment, and honestly, it was definitely not anticipated to be as graphic as it was, although we knew eventually John Walker was going to snap and he was going to go insane. Now, does the ends justify the means for what happened as far as him going and killing that guy? His best friend had died. He was definitely in a little bit of rage. He had just taken the serum, so a lot of different things going on. So yeah, I can say I understand what happened, but here's what I want to talk about exactly with what happened. And that is, what does this mean for the future of the MCU? Not specifically what's going to happen with Captain America, what's going to happen with the different characters, now Battlestar's dead. No, I want to talk about specifically the direction the MCU is heading with graphic violence and with this more detailed demonstration of anger. This was without a doubt in my mind the most intense, most graphic, most bloody scene we have gotten in the MCU to date. So it does make you wonder if this is a direction that the MCU is planning on heading, not necessarily all gore and it's not going to become Saw 7, 8, 9, and 10, but it's going to be a little bit more intense. And that would make sense, especially since they have already announced Moon Knight, who is already known to be a more intense character. That coupled with this footage of Oscar Isaac, who will be playing the character, and how well he's training, the knife work, all of that, makes you wonder whether or not we will be getting more graphic violence in the future of the MCU, and if they're even potentially headed towards a more rated R scene in Disney's MCU. And that would also go along with the inclusion of Deadpool, who they've already said is going to be rated R, but that might just be because of his potty mouth and a few inappropriate jokes. But it's also possible we might get that same trademark Deadpool violence, which we also got in the first and second film as he skewered people, shot people, made lewd jokes, and there was definitely a lot more graphic violence in those Deadpool films than the entirety of the MCU put together. So now that they've announced that there is going to be a Reddit R Deadpool, we have Moon Knight coming, we possibly have so many more of those darker characters that would make up the Midnight Suns part of the MCU, like Ghost Rider, Morbius, and many other darker characters in the MCU. It's possible that this use of Captain America snapping and breaking and breaking a guy is test footage to see how the audience reacts to a little bit more graphic violence in the MCU and on the Disney side of Marvel. So it'd be very, very interesting to see how overall people felt that scene was, which is what I'm going to ask you to do right now. Comment down below how you felt about that graphic violence that appeared at the end of Falcon and the Winter Soldier this last episode with Captain America. Did it make you uncomfortable? Was it unsettling? Was it surprising? Or would you like to see more of that moving forward into the MCU? Because it is a little bit more real. It does show a little bit more of the fighting. And this is one thing about the character John Walker that I have admired. And that is, we get to see the real emotions of him. Steve Rogers was so stone cold and emotionless as far as allowing his emotions to dictate his actions, he almost didn't seem real. Now, John Walker has a very real humanized personality wherein he wants to do good, but his human emotions get in the way and cause him to be arrogant, they cause him to be angry, they cause him to snap, and they cause him to bash somebody's head in with the shield on the side of the street. Now, that's probably not who we want to be Captain America moving forward, and it's probable that he won't be, and that the government's going to take the shield away from him, or Sam and Bucky will. But it is interesting to see that the Marvel Universe has decided to show this graphic violence in this Disney Plus TV show, even to the point that they had to rate it differently from the other ones. 
So I'm curious to see how this affects the future of the MCU in question of graphic violence and other more lewd, more dangerous scenes and stunts that will be coupled again with Deadpool and his inclusion in the MCU moving forward. Let me know what you guys think about this and how you would like to see the Marvel Cinematic Universe proceed with this violence. Would you like to see more of it or was that enough for you? Let me know in the comments section down below. Do not forget about our giveaway. We're trying to give a subscriber a awesome opportunity to win a Falcon and the Winter Soldier Captain America shield. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the Cosmic Wonder if you aren't already, and make sure you comment in the videos as you're watching them because that is where we will be selecting the random winner. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, and be sure to check out our next upload as we're uploading daily right here on Cosmic Culture.